and welcome back to another video on Remnant from the Ashes. So, we are back over here in the swamp. Now, we didn't really do anything off camera. Uh, of course we did. We cooked food. <laughs> that was technically off camera. True. This is very true. Oh, two wow. ammo boxes two right there. Ammo so, boxes you know, well? I'll gladly take that. But that tells me that there isn't going to be that many ads in this fight, maybe? I don't know. That'd be nice. Uh, because, yeah, this is the next part. We're still picking up exactly where we left off. Just, we teleported over here. Um, is this going to be the thing we're actually trying to find? Maybe? I hope so, because I'm sick and tired of running around in this swamp. It's, I mean, amazing environment and everything, but oh my god, everything is so angry. I'd love to get the Slayer gear. What the f Oh, shit. Well, that's... Wait, is this the thing? No, it's not. Oh! Um, legit question. This is... this is... bridge the only, like, area we have? I think so. Those little things hit really hard. We might have a problem. Okay. Um, yeah, this... Huh. Also, this is exactly like that one fight from Dark Souls. Where you fight like that giant butterfly or whatever on a bridge. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. It was one of the fights in, I'm pretty sure, Dark Souls. Yeah, which I've never played. Yeah. Ow. So my question is... How do you... I'm assuming you shoot these things. Yep, you can shoot them. Does this asshole have a weak spot somewhere? Yeah, I have no idea on that. Oh my god! I just used one of my healing items too. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'm actually going to throw my heal back on because I feel like that will be extremely beneficial for this. Um, yeah, it's not like we can really move around. This is going to be literally just all dodge at the right fucking time with very little room for error. Indeed. Welcome to Souls Games. I mean, I can see it through the little misty thing, but yeah. Yeah. I don't think shooting at it works. Nope, and that corrosion cloud that's on you deals a lot of damage. Dude, this is this is stupid. Give me move like room to fucking move around. God damn. Oh, 
Thank you for hitting me the second it fucking lets me into the room because, you know, it didn't let me through the door the first two times. I don't know then. so stupid that it makes you look away from it to fucking shoot the things. I mean, how the fuck are you supposed to dodge anything if you have to turn your back to the box? And yeah, zero point miss is coming. That is such a stupid fucking idea. I mean, if you're gonna make a game where you lose all, like, visual anything around your character when you're having to aim, why the fuck would they make you t turn to face away from a boss where you have no movement to shoot at things that will kill you while the boss is trying to kill you from fucking behind? Actually, wait, let me uh, do something. That has got to be the stupidest fucking mechanic. And it's not like there's a button that immediately 180s your character within half a second. Because, I mean, if that was the case, then, yeah, sure, no problem, whatever. But you can't fucking do that. And you can't really dodge the... Whatever the hell white, bluish things either. And then it leaves fucking clouds on the bridge where you can't really move around anyway. Are you kidding me? You, wow, okay, so the second fucking cocoon is a whole nother one. What the what? fuck was that? Are you kidding me?
And now there's beams. Dude, this is honestly stupid. watch a video of somebody doing this because this is absolutely fucking batshit stupid. I wonder if you can destroy the cocoon. Maybe? I mean, because I, I'd asked about it because I was curious about that, but then I kind of forgot pretty quickly because this thing keeps shitting in my breakfast cereal. I don't know about you, but I don't like it when people shit in my breakfast cereal. Spawns with less health. Beam. That hurt. Yeah, the, the, the one behind us does a lot more damage. And it has a crit point. And nope, it seems like that damage is completely unavoidable. It's down on the fucking bed, too. Okay, so Farron, I think we just have to try to spike one down. Like, almost ignore the fucking first one that was kicking our dicks before, but... I don't know, see if we can just get one down. If we can just get one down, then it gets a lot easier. And I mean, I had it to like, what, 10%, 20% health or something? Yeah. I mean, I did run out of bullets with one gun, but... I mean, it tells me you can easily spike it down. It does have a crit spot. Whenever it... Start screaming at you or whatever. It's head. Oh, shit. Bitch's melee attack. Oh, what the? You can fall off the bridge. I just got knocked off the bridge, and it's an instant death. Dude, how do you? Okay, so yeah, whenever they go to Roar, I seriously feel like it's a DPS race or something? I, I don't know. Because both of them doing it kills you. Yeah. How do you avoid that? Maybe right as they do it, drop both the heals at the same time. Maybe they stack? Yeah, maybe if I can actually get the heal out to, like, get enough charge yeah, to exactly. Heal. Getting the fucking charge just to do that is stupid.
now have. Dude, you can't even dodge that. Like, if you're, like, in the center of it, dodging the side is not far. And I fell off myself. Oh! Utterly swamped by those things. Yeah, which is ridiculous. I mean, I feel like we can get one of them down. If we can get one of them down, maybe we'll have a chance at killing the other? Maybe? Maybe. Jesus. This is brutal as fuck, though. Dude, I feel like this is gonna be rougher than uh, any of the other encounters that we've had so far. Yeah, agreed. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, let me in. Also doing what I can to keep this main bitch away from you, so you're not having to worry about dodging her attacks. Right, here comes the beams. I have to move closer to you now. I do not feel like getting hit by that beam dodge. A little late, but that's fine. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to kind of call that out. Go back over here, this side. Get some ammo. Okay, good. Right, this one's charging. I broke that one. Alright, so we don't have a roar. We don't have to worry about a roar right now. I broke the other one. Alright, that one's falling back, so I'm gonna help you do this one. Okay, thingy's coming out. Oh, one just came back, her weapon is now glowing. She has the beam now. Oh, damn it. God, there's not enough time between the attacks to heal. This one's almost dead, too. I know. Oh, you just give me up. Doing what I can. And you're up. Oh, and it knocks me off the edge. Oh, well, we killed one. Well, at least we know how to stop them from roaring. Yeah, just keep shooting them in the face. Because nothing says close your mouth like riddling it with bullets. <laughs> Alright, I think we can do this. We just have to... Stay on opposite sides of the bridge, that seemed to help a lot. Well, yeah, because basically, well, the main one was aggro on me. I'm able to avoid all of her attacks with ease. And if she goes to do, like, the summon bullshit, I can tell you that way you know to keep an eye out for them, and I can try to keep you safe, but I'm still having to yeah, dodge all of her attacks. Yeah, it's kind of like you have to kill the ones on your side, I have to kill the ones on my side. Yep. And damaging the cocoon now is definitely worthwhile, 
just because of the simple fact that it makes that one spawn with so much less health. Yes. Timing my dodge. Something fucking cure. Alright, so I have a beam in front This one's moving towards the center. Yep. Alright, charging up roar. Serious? Oh, it knocked me off the fucking edge. The roar knocks you off the edge, too, apparently. And I even wasted an ammo box just to murder this one faster. Because the punching rifle does faster DPS than the, uh, pistol. Jesus, dude. Yeah, you can't really dodge those. Just that fucking roar knocked me off the damn edge. You weren't able to uh, break its face? No. I don't know why. I was able to break it last time. Were you not getting the red hits? I was. That's weird. I mean, it took, I think, six shots for me to break the face of mine. Okay, I want to do the flaming ammo instead because I'm not even getting the chance to use Mender's Aura. Right. Shit. Oh, what? Okay, so you can hit me through there, but I can't hit you. Fuck off, dude. Alright, we got soul thingies incoming. Oh, and I just got beamed. Oh, yeah. And I... At least I'm on the bridge. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it literally knocked me once out of the bridge, then knocked me over the exact opposite. I felt like a, I just got ragdolled. <laughs> okay, that was mildly amusing. Dude, your guy did this. <laughs> yeah, and it's false. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that, that amused me. Okay, the developers of this game are assholes, and I feel like I need to mail them a brick. <laughs> By hand, swiftly, through their fucking window. Okay, well, I did switch to my incinerator rounds, because I feel like that extra damage is what's going to really help during uh, its, Possibly. its roary phase or whatever. Also, uh, one thing I noticed... Uh, Hmm. Starting off on the side that we did last time, bad idea. You don't want to be facing away from the one that spears you. Starting at that side, you want to be on the op. You, you want to be on the further side from where we are. Oh, standing yeah, the right issue now. is is because I had to switch and you heard already. I know. I was in. already on the other side. Yeah. It's just we didn't really. I, I didn't think about that. And yeah, you don't want your back turned to that one when it starts spearing from that side because it's just like at that point I have to tell you to dodge, but it's not something you can dodge unless you're already running out of the way. Dodge. If, you're, if you're in the middle of it and you time it and dodge roll it perfectly, it still hits you. It just doesn't hit you a whole lot, but it will still deal damage. You have to actually like be moving out of its way and then dodge. Anyway, ready? Right? Yep. Summons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I killed all the summons. 
summon things on my side. I broke the face off mine. Incendiary rounds and pitches. Alright, so that one's moving away now. Okay, we got summons coming up. God, the one that's that it just came back. It's beaming. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Oh. So I know I approve of the incendiary bullets or hot shot, whatever the hell it's called. We need to try it. Hold up, do I have something I can do with this one? Maybe. Yeah, I can pick up the explosive rounds, meaning I'll get uh. Okay. Switching back to what I used to use. But yeah, dude, oh my god, the incendiary bullets with the shotgun. I was hitting 500 on the thing's face. Might be a little easier to revive them. I can't even scream. Because that's more summons. Oh! It's just beaming me directly now. Oh shit, the summons are still on both sides. Oh god, I was expecting them to only be on one side now. summons on both sides. So I guess I will turn around and kill the ones on the side from the first one that dies. So the one, the cocoon side. I'll just always kill the ones on that side. Oh, come on, let me in. So 
summons. I got all mine. I got all mine. Jesus fucking Christ, I do not want to do that again, ever. Jesus. Fucking, fucking fuck, fuck balls, fuck. Also, that was the thing we had to actually kill. That was it. The Guardian's heart was the item we uh, trade. So now we don't have to worry about upgrading our gear. We just get plus eight instead of this plus six shit that I'm wearing. I don't even feel good about that. <laughs> I know the feels. Like, that doesn't even feel like I accomplished anything. It just feels like, fuck you, developers. So what was that thing we got? A hive stone. Uh, it's used to make a powerful oh, weapon. Oh, What? Execution. Wait, we got a new trait? Yes. Oh, critical hit chance bonus. Yes. Okay. I think I'm gonna get the 20% resistance, then I'm just gonna start bumping the shit out of that. 
Oh, okay. 20 is the max. Yeah, that's all it goes up to, is 20. Okay. Oh. Also, didn't it drop an item? Yeah, it, it dropped the uh, hive stone. What is that used? Well, I'm assuming it's used. It's used to craft a weapon. Craft a thing. <gasps> two ammo crates that it, you know, gave us for free. I used two ammo crates. But at least I didn't, you know, go back any. That... No. That was an asshole move. How do you beat that solo? How do you beat that solo? Uh... I, I don't know. <laughs> I actually am questioning if it's even possible. To maybe do that only solo. one of them spawns if it's solo. Unlikely. Maybe maybe the hive doesn't hatch. Unlikely. Or maybe it only hatches after you kill the first one. So you kill one then the other. Mm. Also, why did we only get one guardian's heart? We uh very obviously killed two of them. Yeah, give this bitch a fucking thing. We could tell you, but our reasons must be Yes, yes. Thank you, Consai. You are forever. And here, as promised. Why couldn't this bitch just kill them? She wouldn't be landlocked. Crossbow, slayer mantle, slayer mask, slayer boots, and 652 scraps. And she's a traitor. Yep. And I'm going to put on this shit. Oh yeah, there's that scythe. I actually might try it. I mean, it's only 750 and I have 11,000 right now, so yeah. Fuck it, I'll try it. Oh my god, I don't want to do that again. You got the Slayer stuff? <laughs> yep, I'm putting it on right now. Plus 35% damage. Yes. Oh, the only negative resistance it has is fire. Also, look how fucking ugly it is. Jesus Christ, it's ugly as balls. Yeah? Yeah. It's definitely not pretty. Dude, my resistances are legit as fuck, though, except I have negative fire. I've got 30, negative 12, 26, 30, 41, 29. That's not bad. Oh my god. What? The crossbow's accuracy is literally maxed. Yeah. I'm actually kind of curious about that. I'm assuming it's a main hand? Yes, it is. Oh, that is a pinpoint. Oh, that's got a pretty quick reload. Dude. There's very little drop on it, too. Okay. I might be able to get behind this weapon. Alright, what about the, uh, the melee? Pull down your, uh, your click. The hell? That's a multi-hit. Oh. Oh, so there's a full combo with the heavies, too. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, um... So we go into the town? Yeah. Because we have stuff that we can craft and look at. Yeah, Plus, I want to kind of I want to see what this crossbow can upgrade for. Because right now, I want it to do more damage than it does. Sure, the accuracy is great, but shit, dude, my hunter's rifle only does like 105 or something, and I've been using that, and it's plus 10. It's just the thing is nice. I mean, you know, clip size and all. Yeah. All right. 
Oh, a hive cannon. What are you? It takes forged iron to uh, upgrade the crossbow. Oh. So that's what the slime vessel does. It gives you, uh, well, not gives you, but you can craft the, uh, the skill called Corrosive Aura. It projects a 10 meter aura that moves with the caster. Enemies that step into the aura will get corroded which reduces their defense by 20%. Check these out. Wow. Oh, Zeph. If you were curious, the crossbow goes to, at 10, 230 damage. Okay. Though, because we have that 30% damage bonus, it, or 35, it actually says it's... Actually, it doesn't show. I don't know. Um, also, the armor... Oh! Fair, and the armor at plus 10 is 193.5. We had enough mats to literally plus 10 all of the weapons. Side note, Xanth, look. So if I didn't... Actually, I probably upgraded my... Well, you want me to look at something. You but... You're irradiating me. Really? Yes. Also... Look at that. This is a, a pistol. It's a star. It's a pistol. What? Yes. That is the Devastator. Oh. I'm sorry, the, the Defiler. And this is the Hive Cannon. That's also a pistol? Yes. Whoa. Knocked down, basically. That's... That corroded me. Yeah, and also... That's the fire rate. You get three shots per uh, clip. Hmm. And it has a base damage of 70. That's not bad. Yeah, the Defiler only has an ideal range of 10. The Hive Cannon has an ideal range of 16. The Magnum Revolver an ideal range of 18. Hmm. Though, the thing about the Defiler is short only has an ideal range of 10. But it has a 6 magazine size, shoots 2 rounds per second, and it has a max ammo of 36. That's the one and it also holding. comes with re radioactive volley, which is a built-in skill. That's the one you're holding. Oh uh, no, the one I'm holding is the hive cannon. This is the defiler. The shotgun. Yeah, it's a pistol. What's the damage on that? Um, it just says 52. So I don't know if that's 52 per pellet or. No, it's going to be 52 in total, I think. I don't know. Huh. Dude, that thing, that fucking cross has a 20% crit chance, though. Hmm. I'm gonna dick around with the crossbow for a little bit. And I'm going to play around with the Defiler. And then I also should be able to upgrade these, yes. Dude, seriously, what the fuck is up with this mask? Okay, so I can't get my Slayer Boots to 10. Because I upgraded some other stuff. I got my crossbow to 10. I got my crossbow to 10, my revolver to 10. Oh, um, if you're curious... All Slayer pieces to 10. Is that? So, what's your revolver do at level 10? Damage? Uh, 126. The, the, yeah. the Defiler at plus 4 deals 93.6. What's the range on that? Uh, 10. Yeah, this is almost double the range. And it has a 6 magazine size, or is that head what, 3? Uh, the Defiler? No, it has 6. Oh, okay. With a max know. ammo capacity of 36. I might try that, because, I mean, that seems kind of nice. Honestly, that seems really fucking nice.
It's just the range on it's terrible. Yeah, but more so something that gets up and close. Then you know, it's dead fast. Oh yeah. Like actually, this guy would have been great for that fight that we just did. Yeah, probably. Not for killing the little things though, mm. unless you only have to hit them for like one pellet, which in that case you wouldn't miss. <laughs> I was right. having a little bit of trouble with uh, it. But dude, this, this Slayer gear is gonna be fucking great. Okay, well, so the Farron, the way the damage actually works is reloading increases the damage dealt to the next enemy hit. With that weapon. Uh, interesting. Which means our one round per clip bow. So wait for is always gonna have that bonus. Interesting. Huh. So technically, this gear makes oh. small uh, clip sizes more efficient. So I'm definitely thinking we should try to kind of come back like the back of the room so when things spawn they're not going to be like all around us. Deal with the fucking bullshit that he keeps spawning. Oh, 
stop fucking meleeing. Holy crap. Dude, that fucker chases you down. Nine of them, and I could not kill the ads fast enough. Okay, so I need to go back to my rifle because this none of these weapons have enough fucking flip sides to deal with the ads. There's too fucking many of them. Yeah, I like this crossbow, but I am gonna switch back to my shotgun just because of the sheer damage it deals. I will go ahead and throw. Starts spawning all of the ads. He doesn't fuck around. Like he summons like what eight things at once. Well, yeah, he has his little turret things that he summons. Then he brings out these things. Ugh. and everything. Come on! You, you can't even dodge it! 
Nope. Maybe we need to stay closer together and like try to stay way the fuck away from the balls. Which means maybe don't. Well, now the shotgun's not bad because it'll really help with the ads, I think. Yeah, I one shot. Okay, you see those golem things that are staying behind him? I one shot them. Yeah, it takes me with two the shotguns. Shots. Unless I headshot it. really far away. He has his melee weapons out now. Nope, I'm down. I don't I don't know how to avoid his melee attack. I really don't. And the walk's really slow, but when he starts meleeing, bad. Just try sprinting rather than dodging, maybe? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Basically, one shots 200 armor. Yeah. Because it's like one series of attacks. I mean, it's not like we're under geared. Avoid that. Okay, I tried that rifle or the bow again, and it's just... I'm watching the arrows go through his head and deal no damage. Like, if the little blip is on his head, it won't hit him. Like, it has to be like... It almost like it shows it behind his head. 
going through his head, but it's not actually touching his head, and it really throws you off. It throws me off. Are you serious? Dude, as soon as he pulls out the melee weapons, it's over. I don't get it, we managed to get past it before! But now, literally, I cannot headshot him no matter what I do, unless I pull out the shotgun. Yeah, his head- his hitbox on his head went weird. Cause like I had no problems headshotting with the crossbow the first like two times I tried, but then after that I just can't, it, it, that bolts just go right through it. I started body shotting him instead. And now I'm using the rifle and the rifle headshots him. Part of his phase. I honestly think you just have to do a certain amount of damage to him. What, can we put them away? Yeah. I wonder if I can like lead him around the pillar. I somehow avoided that. Shit, but now he's jumping at me. Yeah, he jumped at me. Alright, he's about to pull out his other ads. Yep, here they are. Along with things that range you. Oh, and his melee weapons are back out again. Dude, this thing is like... What the fuck? Why does everything in this game have to have this exponential ability to move over us. Yeah, I mean, like, what even is this? This is not running. This is like... Casual jog? Yeah, it's like a, a granny jog. <laughs> I'm not an old fucking woman. I'm supposed to be like this hero or some shit. We'll fucking learn how to move. God damn. See how hard it is to hit him in the head with that bow? Yep. Yeah, I'm doing headshots all day with the hunter. Ads. Oh, ads. Dude, the second he pulls out his melee. God, I would kill for a bear trap right now. He seems to get kind of stuck around the building. Yeah, I'm noticing. Oh, 
Also, how do the ads work? Why are they spawning on one side? And I'm down. He jumped from around the pillar while I was trying to like back away from him because he had me like in a fucking corner. His melee weapons are out. Let me see if I can just kind of. Oh, oh, he put him away. And he summoned two things. And his melee weapons are back out. And you're dead. Yep. Dude, what the fuck is up with this goddamn piece of shit? I'm watching a fucking video on this. All right, well, while we do some research on this guy and how to beat him, because we need all the help we can get because we suck at these games, again, feel free to rage at us down in the comments. I already know it's going to happen. But uh, I do want to thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next video, hopefully with us conquering this guy. My God.